Don't try this at home. We're what you call experts. Really? Yeah. Hello and welcome to Is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm Jory Karen, I'm Angelic. And I'm your psychic, the holiest Riley! Uh, so are we just gonna microwave these or? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright. What? No, what? <laughs> <laughs> It smells like victory! All hands to the deck! Nobody likes roasted nuts! <laughs> Let's get out of here! Ventilation is key! What are you doing? What the hell? Stop it! Stop it! The mask! They do nothing! The tip will shield it at me! Does this still work? You're dumb! 2.6 Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here at the Jory Karen Laboratory, safety is this thing right here. It's a tinfoil shield. It's what we hide behind to protect our nuts because nobody likes roasted nuts. We have these bulbs that we're going to do. They're donated by Artist Vadumi. Let's go into this laboratory. We also have these fans to circulate the air. And as always, the Panasonic Microwave Penny. Actually survived those last two experiments. Interesting, huh? Okay, let's uh, uh, throw these in there. She's a little bit more worse for the wear, but... Yeah. Oh, look at that, right on the plate. And the other one? Okay, I wonder how long I should put it in there for. Uh, two lights. Two lights, four minutes? Four yeah, man. Nope. That four sounds lights. good to me. Four minutes? Okay, let's go. Later. Let's do it. Whoa! Wow! Ah. 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 It worked. Hmm. See in there like it's daylight or something. We should always have a circular bulb in there with every experiment we do. <laughs> you think these will shatter? Yeah, probably. And if so, in which direction? Well, the one went out. Uh, second one's significantly. Ooh. Oh. 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 A little bit of second life. Think it's done? Oh. Maybe not, my friend. You spoke too soon. I think there's some good plasma going on in, on the inside. Absolutely. What's going on? She's pulling out from the inside. We didn't hit it. Okay, this is good. Mm -hmm. Shut it off. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's go in there. Let's split. Yeah, I'm going to grab some gloves. Shatter. Eyeballs lost. It legit split over there, though. <laughs> you say eyeballs lost? Ah, my eyes. Put right there. That's why I wasn't making light anymore. And then this one is, it's pretty clear where it's split. Yeah, in a couple places. You know what that is now? Elephant tusks. I was going to say a weapon. So, uh, the bulbs were brilliant for a little bit, and then they weren't brilliant. And then they kind of were a little bit, and then they weren't again. So, uh, you may be wondering, is it a good idea to microwave a circular fluorescent bulb? Absolutely. That, that made that so much brighter you throw that in there with some food that, that only takes about like uh 30 seconds with the big bulb wait so you're suggesting we put a light bulb in with our food just so we can see our food being microwaved yeah that's that works for me i mean I you just have to make sure the food doesn't go in there for longer than like a minute right, right i mean i mean don't try this at home but Try it at home. The producer of this program would like to remind you that the opinions and views expressed by the host Rory Karen are solely his own and not the views of Ideal Productions, YouTube, or Google. Furthermore, you should never try any of this at home. And that's about it for this episode of Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. What's next? That's hot, dude. That's hot.